So today's unboxing is a pretty unique product. I've never seen anything like this. It involves five boxes for one thing, and this is the Seagate Free Agent GoFlex Ultra Portable Drive. Now, when this was first explained to me, um, it was basically said that it's a, an external hard drive that doesn't come with any cables and I went well that's not really very innovative is it but it's actually a little bit different from that what it is is it's an external hard drive that doesn't have an interface so it actually has a modular interface and the bridge chip and cable is all part of one adapter so here uh, why don't we take the eSATA one for example and let's open this up really quick so oh I sure wish I had a knife today but I appear to not have one. So what I'll be doing is I'll just be kind of like shredding the boxes open because that is how I roll. So let's just open that up. There we go. So this is the eSATA one and it's advertised right here as up to six times faster than USB 2. So this is for GoFlex and GoFlex Pro ultra portable drives. Okay, so right here, this is what it looks like. This is a powered eSATA port, I believe, yep. This is a powered eSATA port, so as long as you have powered eSATA, then all you do is you plug this into the back of the drive. So it's got a SATA interface right there, plugs in, clips in with the clips right here, and then you've got an eSATA cable, and that's it. So the whole thing is, is all attached as one unit, rather than having a hard drive enclosure, and then a bunch of interfaces on the back that you plug cables into. So this way you'll never lose the cable, I guess is one benefit. Okay, so why don't we do the next one? This is USB 3.0. So this is a USB 3.0 to SATA adapter and bridge chip. So the chip is actually inside here. So it's inside the bottom of this. And then you just plug in your SATA and then it goes right to a USB 3 port. Now USB 3 actually provides a substantial amount more power than USB 2 did. So it should be no problem to power a two and a half inch drive off a USB 3 port. I believe it's, what is it? I think it's three times the power of USB 2, although I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. The next one we have is the USB 3.0 kit. So what makes it a kit? It's an upgrade cable kit. It includes everything you need to upgrade your laptop to USB 3. So this is not only the... Hmm, okay, why don't we see what this is. So first of all, you've got the same cable we had last time. So you've got a USB 3 end there. And then you have a SATA interface here, both power and data. And then in the back, you have a manual. You know, they probably all come with manuals. These talk about your warranty. It's in about 25 different languages. Then you've got a quick start guide. Okay, so there's an express card in here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So in the back of the plastic tray, there's an express card for your laptop. So you can upgrade your laptop to USB 3.0, and then you can plug it in. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Okay, so the laptop will actually need external power from a USB port, and then you will use that as well as the power coming from the express card port. So you plug, okay, here, here's how this works. You plug this in here, you get one USB 3 port, this plugs into a USB 2 port. So you're taking power here, and you're taking power here, and that's what's gonna run that port. So that would be a good one if your laptop does not already support USB 3, which most of them out there do not right now. So then, last but not least for interfaces, we have Firewire 800. And I actually don't know if Firewire 800 provides um, decent power. But they're advertising FireWire 800 as up to two times faster than USB 2.0. And it looks like they've managed to find a way to make FireWire 800 deliver enough power for the drive because I don't see any external power adapter. All right, there. We finally did it. We unboxed all of the different adapters that you can have. Well, yeah, see, I dropped one. So they all are identical on this end. They are all just SATA power, SATA data. And then at the other ends, we have a couple USB 3.0, we've got an eSATA, and we have a FireWire 800. So these are all much faster than USB 2.0. But that doesn't mean that if you buy the GoFlex that you're just um, stuck with no way to plug it in. It actually comes with a USB 2.0 adapter. So that means you can buy it for the price of a regular USB 2.0 drive, but if you have higher end hardware that allows you to take advantage of uh, faster transfer speeds, then you just plug it in. So this is a one terabyte drive. Actually, you know what, let's spend a little bit of time on this. So it's USB 3.0 upgradable. They're calling it the world's most upgradable hard drive. It comes with easy backup software as well as secure data encryption. 
ultra portable, it's one terabyte, USB 2.0, it's plug and play. Inside the box, you've got the GoFlex ultra portable drive, backup with encryption software preloaded, NTFS driver for Mac preloaded on the drive. You have the USB 2.0 interface adapter, as well as an 18-inch USB 2.0 cable, a quick start guide, and a two-year limited warranty. Uh, I think that pretty much covers everything here. Upgrades your digital life, add-on accessories sold separately. Okay, okay, so let's get it open then, and have a look at what is inside. So this is the Free Agent GoFlex. I don't think, no, this isn't the Pro one, so I don't actually know what the difference is between the Pro one and the not Pro one, and apparently, oh, I thought the cameraman was reaching for a snack there, but it turns out that that is not what is going on. Okay, so it comes wrapped in plastic, and it's very, very shiny. So that's uh, a shiny enclosure. So what I'm guessing, and this is a pretty safe guess, is that there are actually two two and a half inch drives inside here, two 500 gig drives, and that's what gives you the one terabyte capacity. You got a Seagate logo here, and then the sides are just kind of a standard uh, shiny plastic. And then on the bottom, it's matte. So that way, when you actually put it down on the desk, which is how you're likely going to use it, you're not gonna scratch it up too bad, as long as you're careful to um, protect the top, which is probably pretty easy to scratch and a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but what can you really do? So here we are. Here's our USB 2.0 interface cable, and this is gonna show us how to plug in the modular interface cable. So just take the plastic covering off here so that I can show it to you in its shiny plastic glory. It actually feels quite well built. It's quite, um, like it feels solid without feeling overly heavy. And yeah, it doesn't move around or anything, so that's a good sign. So you just plug that in like that, and then it looks like that. There's your USB 2.0. Oh, that's interesting. Hold on. Oh, that's weird. None of the other ones um, actually have a removable cable, but the USB 2.0 one does. So there you go, for whatever reason. Uh, let me just double check that. Yeah, none of the other ones have that, but this one does. So why don't we just sort of plug it in and see if it works. Plug it into my computer here. Take it one step further than I normally do in an unboxing. Put that on the ground. Hmm. There we go. It works. Excellent. So now that I have absolutely no room on my desk to move my mouse, I will attempt to use my computer. So it comes with a bunch of stuff on it. It comes with a USB 3.0 PC card adapter driver folder. It comes with a Seagate folder, which is registration as well as the Seagate dashboard. And then it also has a setup, which is may or may not be for Mac, because there's a Mac installer.dmg and I don't know how to install stuff on a Mac. I, forgive me, please. And then there's also GoFlex. So that's just an icon. So why don't we run setup and see what happens. Feel free to tune out at any time. The unboxing is over. Thank you for watching my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. But then um, beyond that, I guess we can also register our product, or we can not do that. Uh, never register this drive. And then, oh, okay, it wants to find Seagate dashboard.exe. Okay, so what I think I've managed to do is screw it up already within about two seconds of plugging it into my computer, which is a big part of the reason I often do not try to use the product on camera, because usually I screw it up. And okay, I plugged it back in. So we're going to go back into the Seagate folder and we're going to install the Seagate dashboard this time in English, which is good. I live in the United States, sure, close enough. Okay, so here's the Mimeo Instant Backup, simple 60 second backup. And then, oh, you can install the Instant Backup, which comes with it, or you can install the Premium Backup Trial. So free trial software, okay, install, sure. Doesn't take very long to set up by the look of things. My cat really likes this drive though. You can see that he's decided that it is his to lord over here because it's shiny. And uh, oh, he also likes the plastic. Yeah, he wants to fight it. There you go. Okay, and it's not done installing yet, so my distraction has completely failed. Oh. Now he's attacking it some more. You know what? Forget it. This is really boring. So you install the software and then you use the drive, or you don't bother installing the software and you just use the drive. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and attempt at using the product, and don't forget to subscribe once again.